Giles, we're at NCMT headquarters in the Midlands. Now, Makino, EDM brand, you've got this die sinking machine that you're selling in the UK. Could you tell us a little bit more of the features and benefits? Okay, uh, well this is the EDAF3 die sinker that we have here in the showroom. Um, doesn't matter where you look on the machine, you will find quality and high technology. Uh, Makino really is at the top of the triangle of, of machines out there in terms of what you get for your money uh, and long-term ability. Uh, customers buying one of these machines can genuinely see it as a 20 plus years investment. Um, the controller, the Hyper-I controller, which is now standard throughout the range, the features that we can talk about a little bit later on in there, really leave everybody else as standing. Very simple to use, uh, very easy to operate, even for less experienced operators com that are coming new into EDM. And I see the footprint is, is, is quite considerably smaller than others and it's integrated. What benefit is that to the customer? Oh, it's a massive benefit. Floor space is expensive these days, no matter where you are. Uh, people want more out of the buildings that they've got. So uh, the XY movement on this machine, uh, for example, compare, uh, compared to others, when you relate that to its overall floor size, the machine is very compact. And when, when you're looking at the tolerances this machine actually outputs, wh wh where does that sit in the market? Oh, uh, it sits very comfortably. This is a two to three micron machine and it will provide that throughout its life. And what type of sectors would this specifically be aimed at? Well, of course, traditionally there's mold tool makers, uh, but we're finding more and more uh, that aerospace and high-end manufacturing co companies are talking to us. Uh, obviously, the customers possibly existing already for NCMT, uh, but they, they are interested in Makino because they see the Makino philosophy and accuracy from machines that they've already got, and they want to replicate that in their EDM sections. And the Hyper Eye screen that you've got behind here, how is easy is that to use if you as an apprentice, for instance, is there help there for them? Oh yeah, on board the Hyper Eye are training uh, manuals uh, that run as videos. Uh, it's a touch screen and it works in a very similar way to a smartphone does, so generally speaking an apprentice is going to be very good on his smartphone or iPad um, and it's like being at home for him uh, surfing around the, the screen. It's a Windows based system as well which allows updates to be regularly brought into the machine and there's a massive 10 gig of storage available for the customer to use. That's not what the machine needs to run, that is free space for the customer so that when they want to bring in a complex 3D model you're not going to overload the machine um, this machine will just store that data and you can bring it out in full file size. You don't have to chop files to make it fit into the controller to run. And what service and backup do you offer to your customers? Okay, well, legendary NCMT. Uh, they've got, I believe, 35 engineers throughout the UK that can deal with any mechanical issue. And the company's going through uh, a training program for EDM specialists uh, so that we've got uh, service offices in the north, here in the Midlands and in the southeast and the intention is for engineers to be based at each office so that in the event of them needing to go out to a machine we've got people close on hand who are fully trained in Makino. We will not use subcontractors, they will be NCMT personnel and that's the right way to do it. And you're talking about quality, there's always a price level. Makino obviously is synonymous for, for, for quality. Where does it sit in the marketplace? Well, from a quality point of view, we believe we are at the top of the quality tree, very simply. You buy quality, you buy reliability, and if you've got a process that needs to produce possibly 24-7, you've got to buy a quality machine to do so, um, and a Makino purchase therefore makes sense. If you don't have a 24-7 requirement, it's still an argument to buy a high quality machine because longevity is everything and when you buy a machine and you've paid for it and the machine keeps on running at that level of accuracy and you can still put updates into its controller you can keep it, it, it stays fresh and young and uh, you can really see this as a long-term investment. And I, I think from an engineering point of view it, it's not just about price is it but obviously it sits quite comfortable in relation to other products in the market. Absolutely, yeah. Um, again, it's, it's down to the perception that, that, that people will, will look at when they look at a machine. Um, Makino's been out of the UK market for too long, I think it's fair to say. Uh, that's changed now. It's here. Um, 
part, part today is about letting people know that we're here and we're available to talk to them for their needs. Um, there's been a limited level of machines in the UK. Um, some of them have been okay and, and, and some of them you might regard as decent quality. Makino has just raised that bar above and that now it's up to the competition to uh, play chase to us. So the message for MCMT really is don't be scared that it's a Makino price and quality can match. Absolutely, yeah. Um, these machines that we're looking at today, these are Singaporean machines. I've been out to the factory, I've seen how they're made, made to the same standards as they are in Japan, beautifully made, fantastic quality, and as a result of them making them out there, the price is now very, very competitive with all our competitors. Giles, thanks very much indeed. Thank you.